Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the uh, windshield washer bottle or the reservoir uh, in this 2005 Hyundai Elantra. It should be basically the same for any 2001 to 2006 Elantra. You do have to remove the front bumper cover, uh, which once you know how to do it, it's easy, although it is a few steps. Uh, the only tools you'll need are Phillips and flat blade screwdrivers and a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. Locate your plastic fasteners in the Phillips head along the top of the grill and remove them. And we'll speed it up here as we take the rest of those fasteners out. Um, as you can see, they're basically a little Phillips head, and you hopefully, once you turn it counterclockwise, the screw will come up and out. If not, you'll have to pry underneath with a small screwdriver or your fingernail and pull up on the Phillips head. Once the center comes out, then you can pull the rest of the clip out. There's four Phillips head screws on the inside of the grill, two on this side, and two over here. And then there's one more right in the center on the bottom. And we'll just speed it up as we use a short Phillips screwdriver to remove those screws. And underneath where you just remove the grill, you'll find a few clips that hold the bumper cover to the bumper reinforcement bar, remove those. Next you'll want to remove the headlights uh, by removing a 10 millimeter bolt on the top and then using an extension and removing one further down. Okay, and then unplug uh, the harnesses from the backside and pull the um, whole assembly out and do this for both sides. I'm going to push in the front edge a little flat blade push. Wow. Connector on the back is pressing. Find your two Phillips head screws that hold the bumper cover at the corner. And this one you can use actually a 10 millimeter socket. And then there's also a 10 millimeter on the inside here and plastic fastener. And I'm just going to fast forward. We use a flat Phillips screwdriver and a 10 millimeter socket with a ratchet um, and also the Phillips screwdriver to get the clip out and remove those fasteners from each side. Okay, and up underneath there are um, two more pairs of fasteners. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, there's two fasteners on each side. Um, they're the style that you kind of pull the center out of and pull them down. A lot of times they're missing on cars and these can be more difficult usually because there's usually kind of sand gummed up in the works and stuff. And then there are also two more fasteners uh, that you get to from up underneath. Uh, our car did not have a lower splash shield but sometimes you'll find uh, that there's a splash shield uh, that pretty much connects the bottom of that bumper cover to uh, the bottom of the radiator support. Uh, our car didn't have one. Not sure if that's how they come or if you may encounter one that you need to remove some fasteners and take off. And I'm going to grab on the end here of the bumper cover. Just give it a gentle pull. Do the same for this side. Find your washer pump and harness and remove your harness. Push down on the clip. And then we're going to drain the tank and you're just going to pull the pump out of its 
clip. Have something there to catch it. Taking off the hose, pulling the pump aside, and you're going to find a 10 millimeter bolt back there, and a 10 millimeter here, and then there's a post that the pump uh, that the washer reservoir slides onto, right over behind there. And speed up here as we use a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet um, and an extension as well to remove those two 10 millimeter fasteners. Push the reservoir back off the post, slide it out through the bottom. I'm going to put the reservoir back in, feeding it through the bottom. And then I've got the area where it slides onto the post, that on, and reinstall my bolts. And again, we'll just speed up here as we get those bolts started first. You just kind of have to move the uh, washer bottle around until the bolts go into their holes and get them started. Just be careful not to cross-thread the bolts at all. Might have to change angles a little bit just to get a good view in there. Putting the bumper cover back on. Match up your holes. And I'm going to put a couple of these bolts in just to hold it in place. And here I'm going to just fast forward through. Uh, we use those first two bolts on the top just to hold things in place. Then start the two bolts that are kind of in behind the headlight. Now on each side, put the uh, bolt that goes up through the fender cover into the fender, as well as the fastener that fastens the inner fender uh, back to the fender. And do this for both sides. Make sure you can get to the harnesses for the two parking lights and snap them back in place. Push them into the front or reconnect them first, push them into the front, and then slide them back and snap them in. Reinstall the clips that are on the side holding um, the lower fender closeout panel to the fender, and then also reinstall the clips, the middle clips, uh, up underneath. Tighten up the bolts that are in behind the headlights as well as the two bolts that hold the uh, upper part of the fender cover to the radiator support. Reinstall the two clips that hold the bumper cover to the uh, bumper bar underneath where the grill mounts. Now reinstall your lights. Remember to feed the outside in first and then um, feed the inside in. Start the three bolts and then tighten them up and reconnect your um, headlight as well as your parking lights and everything. Putting the grill back in, and reinstalling the five screws. And speed up here as we just reinstall and tighten up those screws. Uh, and then the only thing left is to just refill your washer bottle. Um, you can do that after, or you could do it just after you put in the washer bottle. Uh, run the run the wipers and the washers and test it before you put everything back together. I'm gonna refill the washer reservoir. I'm gonna use a funnel with a screen in it so that we don't get any. Uh, any debris in there that would clog the pump. You can also just put a paper towel into your funnel to help you filter out any debris. But once you fill that back up, replace the cap and you should be good to go. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. 
please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.